Well, it is a headline we have seen more often than we would like. Schools having to make cuts to programs because of budget issues. But one school right here in Tucson is here to say they focus on those special programs, including those in the fine arts. To tell us more about Tucson Country Day School is Jean Parody. Also joining us is 7th grader Dakota Nelson and 8th grader Fernando Felix Garcia, who all take part in the school's orchestra. So thank you guys so much for joining us. You're very welcome. Thank you also to all of the orchestra that's standing behind us. You guys are going to be playing for us here in just a moment. But Jean, let's talk about this school and kind of uh, let the, our viewers know what you guys are all about. Well, Tucson Country Day School is a charter school. Um, we are located not very far from here, uh, and we've been a charter school for about 16 years. Uh, we have an on-site private preschool, and we go from K through 8, and we do have a big focus on the arts. Um, after our academic programs, which are very, very important to us, we, we want to educate the whole child. So everyone has myriads of ways to express themselves and can be strong in many different areas and be champions. Absolutely. And, you know, the arts was a big part of my schooling. So I'm really happy to hear that this is still happening in, in at least some of our schools. Now, what are some of those extra courses? And I'd love to hear what courses you guys are taking as well. Some of the courses, there's, um, there's physical education, there's Spanish, drama, art. Technology. And then they have after school activities like sports as well as basketball. Volleyball. Um, cheer. Soccer. There's tons of clubs. Yeah, there's a lot. Tons of clubs. There's a sci-fi club and a cartoon club. And we kind of make these clubs around interests that the students have so they kind of grow and thrive. And we also have an amazing, amazing garden and environmental center. So. And uh, speaking of the arts, you guys actually have uh, taken some of the art that the students have done and entered it into the Pima County Fair. You guys had hundreds of entries that you right. did. I know we have a couple of examples. Tell me how right. that went. Well, it went really well. Uh, every year we take uh, artwork from uh, all different grades and we put it into the fair. We usually have the largest group of paintings and, and drawings and ceramics and everything that we do there. We really believe that um, the fair is instrumental in promoting uh, school art and so art from all over the county communities is displayed there. We love to look at all of the different artworks from, uh, from teachers and students from all over the county. It's really exciting. Absolutely, and I know some of our viewers at home might be interested in maybe having their kids go to this school. Where is the good place to get more information? Well, you should call the administrative office. Um, I think you probably have our number and talk to one of the administrators and have a tour. Students will greet you. Uh, we love to have people come into our classrooms and see what we do and just enjoy the things that, uh, that our students do. The strong music program, Fernando is not only an artist but also a musician and many of us have different uh, like multiple kind of skills and, and interests that we have. Everybody, everybody will be welcome. And were some of the students here, I know that some of the students were able to go to Phoenix for a competition oh, and uh, yeah. received uh, great honors there. Were you one of the students that went? Yes, uh, there was a, an orchestra and a band and a trio, which, was, which I was included in. For example, in the orchestra, they played... Um, they played a song called the Swashbuckling Sailors, and that got uh, an excellent, or I think a superior, and our trio that we played in got a superior as well. And that's for, for feedback so the kids can have experience uh, later on when they actually want to play in front of an, uh, an audience that is uh, a bit more nerve-wracking yeah. than most. <laughs> yeah. So it, it's just to gain experience and so the, the kids can exp um, also know what it's like to be judged and to get feedback and to actually use that. That's amazing, and I think we're going to hear a little bit of Swashbuck and Buckle and Sailor in a moment, but I want to talk about the event that's happening this weekend as well. Right. right. Go Live. Well, you guys jump in if you, if you can think of anything I leave out. Go Live is uh, new this year. Usually we just, uh, we have two music concerts per year, but we decided we wanted to showcase all of the special things that are part of our everyday program, music, art, drama, tech, all those things, plus all of our afternoon, after-school programs. So so each, 
each individual that, that manages those programs is going to be featured. They're going to have interactive things to do. Um, there's going to be art activities. There's going to be all kinds of fun stuff, plus fabulous food. Our Spanish department is bringing in tamales and, and uh, the garden club. They have a pizza garden, and so they're bringing in pizza, and it should be really fun. And it's a great way for families and their friends uh, to come and see what the special things are that we have to offer at Tucson Country Day School. Because as you said, arts are being cut back all yeah, over the place. Exactly. Well, it sounds like a great event. We're going to make sure our viewers have all the information. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. And Go Live will take place this Saturday from 4.30 to 7 p.m. at the Tucson Country Day School. For more information, you can call 296-0883 or log on to tcdcharterschool.com. And now here's a performance from the 7th and 8th grade orchestra.